hello everybody and thanks for watching um, this character is uncle ruckus and I think he's really funny but in real life and reality when you come across people like this it isn't funny at all but he is a cartoon character named uncle ruckus he's on the boondocks and he's a black man who is self-hating in the cartoon and he says a lot of negative things or stereotypes and biases and discriminative comments towards his own race of people so he's like a white man trapped in a black man body is the character that he portrays and so I started this video off with that particular character because I noticed that on social media there will be people that are black but on the inside they have this hate this self-hate this deep-seated hate towards either them their own self or they hate black culture even though they're black themselves they deny their own race or they they're hateful towards the opposite sex um, they're hateful towards black females and I've seen a lot of those videos where there are black males that they don't have any hesitation in sharing how much they hate black females and how much they'll um, date outside of their race or what types of things they're doing to date outside their culture to find other women who are more submissive um, some will even go so far as to admit that and it's kind of sad because there are so many things that are happening even today here in like the US with black people there's income inequality gun violence there's the the gang and gun violence in Chicago there is schools in cities that are underfunded and there's drug abuse there's mistreatment of black females there's mistreatment of bl black males in policing procedures that have taken place there's been a lot of deaths um, due to either drugs or gangs and gang violence in poorest communities there's been black women who have been murdered and a lot of times these things happen right in within the community the black communities and there has been black on black crimes and it's not unlikely when you see these things happen it's really sad there's also been a lot of problems in black churches dishonesty people who are not telling the truth you go to a place of refuge thinking that maybe they can help you from some of the problems that we face in our communities with poverty bad schooling bad policing discrimination racism and then right in your very own churches you feel like you can't trust the people who you think that you can go to a place of refuge and try to have some type of sanity and it's sad and then we hate people that are different if they don't live the same exact way or they don't have the same beliefs we have a deep-seated hate for our people who are of color like ourselves and they can be a black person if they're an LGBT black person there's hate if they're a black woman they have hate for them if they're a black male they have hate um, and a lot of times you don't even know the person's struggles what they've been through you don't know their background where they're going what their true intentions are there's been a lot of social divide sometimes you go to these churches and you find out that there's sometimes even more corruption in the churches than there is outside the churches or about the same 
somewhere in there and it's scary so there's been a lot of scary things that have been happening and it's sad because within the black communities it's not only just the black communities but specifically in the black communities it detracts us from the focuses that we should be really concerned about like AIDS um, kids that are in schools that are still illiterate famine poverty violence you know coming from a uh, culture where your ancestors may have been or more than likely had were slaves and then generation and generation after generation you go through a psychological period where people are trying to grapple with the fact that you know when you've been discriminated or when there's bias or racial bias or racial um, problems going on in cities even though we're in the year of 2017 a lot of people realize that this is not post-racial there's the realization that a lot of the protests a lot of the things that are happening are probably repeats but more than likely the growing reality is that it'll keep happening it just seems to get worse and fighting with each other is not going to solve problems I know that for sure I'm not a rocket scientist I'm not a genius but I do have sense enough to know that fighting with each other hurting each other and talking about each other and belittling each other and, and making each other feel more pain is not going to strengthen us as people and I think a lot of what is going on is there's pain inside of people individually and when they can't express it they turn to the next person closest to them and they want them to feel the same hurt that they feel because it justifies okay well I'm not the only one that feels lousy so I believe that's the reason why a lot of this social divide and gender divide and all the bickering and fighting is going on people will mask it with political uh, you know reasons as to why this culture or this group or this gender or this person is going through this but they don't realize that they're hurting their own race of people or they're hurting their own people and they're they're furthermore hurting themselves in the process and they don't even see what they're doing and it doesn't build you up to put people of, of your own culture down and all it does is just show how ignorant you are and to me I feel that those people are losing they're they're losers and it's sad so we have to learn how to be winning we'll have to learn how to uplift each other and bring about positive change